One year ago today, exactly, we were just getting into this COVID crisis and hadn't even been called a pandemic yet. One year ago today, we told you on this show, 41 Idahoans had been tested for COVID. None had been confirmed positive yet. In fact, a year ago today, Idaho was one of 15 states without a confirmed case. And while across the country, there were only about 600 cases and 23 deaths reported. 19 of those just a state away in Washington, just outside of Seattle. Like I said, as a country, we're just getting into this COVID crisis. Little did we know where we would be just one year later, that those who got coronavirus in the early months would still be dealing with it all this time later. They're called long haulers, people that suffer from long term symptoms of COVID-19. Experts estimate about 10% of COVID patients become long haulers, meaning there might be millions of them across the country and more than 10,000 right here in Idaho. Katya Stepovic spoke with some Idahoans who've been dealing with COVID symptoms for more than eight months and they don't know where else to turn for help. Honestly, COVID has completely derailed my whole life. Angie Nunes is a wife and mother of three who lives in Nampa. She thought after getting COVID in early July, she would be back to normal by now. I was very healthy before this, before I got COVID in July. Um, I, and now today I feel like I, it's, hit or miss every day if I even have energy to do anything or not. Noon struggles with shortness of breath, chest pain, nausea, fatigue, bone pains, numbness, and feeling very weak. It's very draining, very, very draining. Um, many nights have gone by that that I go to bed at night and I have no, I feel as if I will not wake up in the morning. I was with my other daughter when she had her baby and um, I remember trying to hold the baby and I sat in the corner of the hospital room with a nebulizer doing breathing treatments. Um, just trying to be able to breathe again. Before getting COVID, Nunes was very athletic, but now she's lucky if she can get a walk in. She also hasn't regained her sense of smell. I haven't had any smell since July and um, I was burning something the other day and I had no idea. I have seen what I feel like is every doctor that it's just almost like one specialist to another to another because nobody knows what to tell me. And Noons is just one of many. I went to the hospital seven times um, for chest pain and I had tingling and numbness in my arms and my legs. I was having like weird skin issues. I have like really deep ridges in my fingernails all of a sudden, really bad hair loss. Like my hair is still coming out in like clumps. My legs get like will burn if I'm standing for too long, like in one place. I have low blood pressure. Um, I can't stand heat very much. Um, so like I can't stand in the shower at all. I have to sit down in the shower. Those are just some of the lingering symptoms that Boise woman Danielle Lochner continues to have also eight months after getting COVID-19. My joints are like making popping noises. Um, like um, when I walk around, I'm literally popping all the time, just like pop, 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 pop. And none of these things were happening at all um, before I got COVID. Lochner has five kids and all she wants is her old self back. It's like you're sitting around waiting to figure out if you're going to get better or if you're going to be like this forever. You know, I don't want to struggle every day. I don't, I want to be with my kids. I want to be with my family. I want to, you know, just simple things. Lochner said she's seen countless specialists and doctors. They tell her it's her anxiety that's causing the symptoms or that there's just nothing they can do because there's still so much they don't know about the virus. And I am grateful to be alive, but it's really hard to figure out how to live this life. I feel like I'm looked at like I'm absolutely insane because the symptoms are not anything that that I feel as if people cannot 
even grasp or understand. And to be honest with you, I don't understand it either. Now, both women tell me that they were really healthy before and they didn't have any pre-existing conditions, but they say each day is very different and they are seeing some improvement over quite some time. Brian? Well, Katya, the doctor's saying there's really nothing they can do. Is there really nothing that can be done medically or what kind of help is out there for long haulers? Well, we do know that St. Alphonsus has a COVID clinic in Boise, and you do have to be referred by a doctor or the emergency room. But both of these women tell me they really turn to social media in this case. There are so many long hauler Facebook groups out there where people can share their experiences and symptoms that kind of validate what they're going through. And they know their journey is shared with thousands of other people. Why medical ex while medical experts try and get to the bottom of why these long term lasting effects are happening. And most of them on these Facebook groups and such are women you were telling us, Katya, because interestingly, while more men have died of the coronavirus, studies show more women are inflicted with these long-term effects after being infected. Thank you very much.